So we're going to uh, try to take an audio piece that we made in Audacity. It's a WAV file. We want to store it and present it on our portfolios. So I'm going to show you the way to do that right now using something called SoundCloud. Uh, the audio is stored in a local drive. If I go to SoundCloud, you make yourself uh, an account for it. You can use your uh, throwaway email address from John McRae. Uh, at this point in time, though, I'm using this a lot, so I'm using a real email address for it. I'm going to register for it. And I'm going to the upload function of SoundCloud, and I'm going to choose which file to upload. And I'll just pick one of these things, a general announcement. Uh, the free version of SoundCloud gives you a limit to how many minutes worth of stuff you can put up, but I'm not putting that much stuff up, so this should be pretty easy. I'm going to choose right now what the name of it's going to be. SoundCloud really puts things out there into the, uh, into the internet, so be careful with what material you put in and how much description and detail you put in there, too, because there's no privacy. Oh, wait, it says track is private. It may have to be public so that people can hear it. We could try playing with that and changing it from one to the other. I imagine it lets you change it later. Uh, I'm going to leave it as public for now, because it's not that confidential. And hopefully, I hit save, choose it one tag, OK, education. Done. Uh, test. Announcement. All right. Is it happy with that? Please choose at least one tag. I have. Add education. OK, now it did it. Hit save. OK. Uh, upload is complete. Go to my sound. Excellent. And the sound shows up like this, shows a profile of it, makes it all pretty. Here's the thing we want to do, is we want to find a way to share it. And I believe this is the share icon right here. If I click on this, it takes me to the share menu. And this is the tricky bit. We also have to go over to the embed features. And in the embed features, what we want to, co uh, to copy is this thing called the embed code. So I'll highlight all of this and copy it. And now I'm going to go back to my portfolio. Back in my portfolio, I'll edit the page that I want to put it on. And I can find the right gadget under Insert, More Gadgets. And usually under Featured, you can scroll down until you can find this thing called Embed Gadget. Sometimes these gadgets stop working for no particularly good reason, but so far Embed Gadget is held up. I'm going to hit Select, and in the details of it, I'm going to paste iframe. Uh, the size of this thing, you know what, I'm going to hit the preview and just see if it's working okay. And if it is, I should see a picture of the embed ga of the gadget, the SoundCloud gadget. Looks like this, it has the icon. Well, that's going to do the job. It looks like it's a little taller than I need it to be, so I'll go back to configuration and say, ah, you know what, that height only needs to be about 200. And in fact, you can see it right here, width and height of 166. I wonder if I can get away with saying 166 here to match that. Scrolling, no. Frame border, no. I don't need to have a title on this. I I'll leave the, the, uh, the border around it, and I'll say OK. So the gadget's in place. I hit Save. It's going to use, I think, the maximum width, but there's the thing embedded now. And clicking it, you can test it out and see if it works. But that should do the job for you. Give it a try, see how it works. Good luck.